Hello everyone, uh, today I want to talk about uh, the time and practice in relation, the, the importance of time and practice in relation to changing our belief system. Uh, and also I want to provide a few Epictetus quotes. Uh, I'm currently reading the Stoic philosopher and I think it might be helpful and insightful. Also to my mind when Albert Ellis uh, was creating REBT, he took the main principles from Epictetus because he more than other Stoic philosopher uh, talks about the importance of opinion, the key role of opinion in our life. And I, I think uh, Albert Ellis's opinion, uh, Albert Ellis's uh, beliefs and Epictetus' opinions are very close uh, term, terms. Uh, so, as we know, the, our beliefs are primary factor of our reaction on everyday life events. Nick recently did a fantastic video about disputing irrational beliefs and he demonstrated how between activating event and consequences always lies beliefs. And uh, in fact, these beliefs causes these consequences. Uh, so, I think majority of people are holding irrational beliefs and uh, these beliefs also uh, have an effect on their life, but for us who suffer from OCD, uh, these irrational beliefs are a big problem because uh, our perspective uh, creates those core fears which uh, constantly fuel and continue OCD cycle. And uh, I think if you're watching this channel for a while, you're already familiar with this information, but I think we tend to underestimate the time factor here. Uh, for example, when I started disputing, I thought that in a few months I, I'll break down all my uh, core fears, uh, I'll change uh, completely my perspective and I will be recover. Also, I tried for acceptance, but it doesn't work like that. And uh, uh, after a while, I understood that uh, this perspective was naive, very naive, because uh, the more I uh, learn about this disorder, the clearer I see that uh, during my whole life I was very irrational. Uh, even before I uh, chronically stuck with OCD. And I think uh, if you uh, uh, have chronic OCD, most likely before uh, before uh, you start with OCD, you have you had a lot of OCD tendencies. I had plenty of them. I avoided things. I avoided discomfort. I uh, I always try to get approval from everyone. Uh, I think it was my main main compulsion, even though I wasn't suffering with OCD. Uh, so what I'm trying to say is that. Uh, our perspective was, uh, was forming during our whole life and this perspective is deep inside us and uh, it, it, it can be break down so easily. Uh, but from, uh, uh, from the other side, uh, I think if we uh, take timeline two or three years in order to reach uh, a robust recovery, it's not that long because uh, it's not that long taking to the account that we were forming this perspective during, as I told before, during our whole life. Now I'd like to quote Epictetus when he talked that my stoic principles cannot be uh, learned and put into practice quick and easy. So here he says, nothing important comes into being overnight. Even grapes and figs need time to ripen. If you say that you want a fig now, I will tell you to be patient. First, you might allow the tree to flower, then put forth fruit, then you have to wait until the fruit is ripe. So, if the fruit of a fig tree is not brought to maturity instantly or in an hour, how do you expect the human mind to come to fruition so quickly and easy? I think it's, uh, it's a good conclusion for everything I said before. Uh, also, I want to mention that, uh, of course, changing our beliefs is not, a, uh, is not an easy task, but certainly doable. Uh, and during your recovery journey, you'll have a lot of ups and down moments, backdoor spike, uh, setbacks and relapses. Uh, 
Uh, also, when you progress, uh, some secondary fear uh, might pop up. Also, the OCD morphs uh, often, uh, and it's understandable because it tries to keep you safe. Uh, but as uh, Paul Paul once mentioned, that every down moments is a guide for us because it shows where uh, where we still have to put work and to emphasize the key role of our belief system uh, in life i want to provide another epictetus quote but it is enough to be convinced of this if what the philosophers say is true that we must not look for it anywhere without but in all cases it is one and the same thing which is the cause of our doing or not doing something of saying or not saying something of being elated or depressed of avoiding anything or pursuing the very thing which is now the cause to me and to you to you of coming to me and sitting and hearing and to me of saying what i say what i do say and what is this? Is it any other than our opinion to do so? No other. So, thank you guys. I hope this video was helpful and have a great day. Bye-bye.